Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin from Team Cribcraft here for another episode of Cribcraft. I believe this is going to be episode 71. Hard to keep track these days. We've been doing a lot lately on the channel. And today I have a A-frame cabin. If you recall earlier, I had a modern A-frame house on the channel. Maybe 50, like 20 some odd episodes ago sounds about right. That'll probably be the random video in the end slate. But if you look off to the right... We have a nice lake with an island in the center, which we'll head off to now. And Kyle's recording this for me, which is a bit unorthodox, but there's just certain things that... Oh yeah, there's also a nice fire pit in the center of that island. But there are certain things just um, inhibiting me from recording this house tour by myself right now. So Kyle did me a favor. I guess I own one. Anyway, more importantly... The house has a balcony and a huge deck going around the whole thing. As far as, like, the backyard, I built a pool under the A-frame because I thought that was really cool. And I like the feature a lot. And then just back here, there's just kind of a forest. Now, you can climb up ladders around the house to get to the balcony if you want. Or if you come to the front of the house with me. And we walk through the front door, we have the foyer-type area. It has a very nice couch and piano overlooking the fireplace with like a little coffee table with your coffee mug. And this is pretty open room. I like the feel of it. That's kind of how most of the house is. Like when you come through here, you see there's this, this little office area. You can look out into the pool and see what the kids are doing. See if they're drowning or not. Hopefully not. At least in my experience as a parent. Not that I'm a parent. And here we actually have a really nice bathroom. It's nice and compact. It has all the necessities. It has a shower with a shower drain. I like the design a lot. Think a toilet, you know, the bare essentials. And that's actually it for the first floor, other than the exit to the backyard. And the staircase is a bit crammed, but it's all right. Um, the upstairs has a very nice grand dining area connected to the chimney slash fireplace, which isn't stocked right now, unfortunately. And over here in the kitchen area of the house, we have a microwave, or my best rendition of a microwave in the natural texture pack. In the city, it would be a lot easier. We have my fridge design right here, and a nice oven. The last room in the house is the master bedroom and the only bedroom, and just has a TV with a big bed. You get to see out to the porch. You get to see the drubbing babies lettering out the window. And a dresser design, which I really love. You know, it's kind of like one of those big dressers that's supposed to have a mirror with your reflection in it, and then the drawers are open. Because, I don't know, maybe they're getting some clothes out. Might not be a bad idea to put some chests in there. And we're going to go out to the balcony, and then we're going to... We're going to end off the video as we walk around the balcony, but the cool feature about this house is the chimney is actually part of an extension of the house, which I am a big fan of. But other than that, that's it for the video. And I just wanted to mention that I am very open to doing a tutorial of this house. If you guys want to see me do a tutorial of it, I love the house, I love the exterior, I love the interior, and I love the landscaping. So, And it's relatively... I'm not going to say it's a simple house, but it's a nice house that's easy for me to do a tutorial on for you guys. So I wouldn't be objected to it at all. So let me know in the comments. You know, crush the like button. Show me support for the house tour, and I'll do a tutorial for you guys probably with by the end of the week. So, yeah. Have a good night.